20s and three one days next month. Let's get your weather right now with Tim, who joins us from Cooktown in Queensland. G'day, Tim. Good morning to you, Alex. The sun's starting to come up here in the tropics, a lovely place to start the working week here on the Endeavour River in Cooktown. And we've, it's a hive of activity out here, if I'm completely honest. Lots of fish, fishers out, and uh, yes, they are biting first thing on your Monday. Hey, let's take a look at our five-day forecast and see what's going to happen weather-wise this week. Today in Brisbane, you can expect fine and sunny conditions, and it's going to be much the same again tomorrow. Partly cloudy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looking pretty good. Sydney for you, mostly sunny, 17 degrees on the way, partly cloudy tomorrow. Mostly sunny Wednesday, Thursday, but looking good by Friday. Melbourne, a uh, few clouds around today and tomorrow, 12 degrees, a few showers tomorrow, then partly cloudy conditions Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with temps in the high teens. Hobart, mm, we'll see a shower or two developing, 11 degrees for your Monday, partly cloudy tomorrow, looking cloudy Wednesday, a shower or two Thursday, and then coming good, partly cloudy on Friday. Adelaide, partly cloudy today, 14 degrees, mostly sunny for the next few days, Thursday really is looking like the pick of the bunch at this stage. Not too bad on Friday as well. And for Perth, partly cloudy, 20 today, mostly sunny tomorrow. Looking good Wednesday and Thursday, partly cloudy conditions on Friday. Well, I am out and aboard with the guys from Gone Fishing here in Cooktown. I've got Russell and Captain Cody here behind and both got lines in and both having a lot of fun. How, how's the fishing around here, Russ? Sensational this time of year. We've just had those few warm days in the last couple of weeks, couple of degrees, rise in temperature. It just starts to turn everything on and the magic starts to happen. So yeah. Endeavour's quite famous for getting Spanish off the wharf. Mm. That's one of the only towns in the uh, in the nation that you can catch a barramundi in the main street. You're so uh, <laughs> right off the public wharf here it is very, very common to catch barra, especially right up on the lead up. So yeah. humble hand line, local with a bait jig, not much expense and you can have a ton of fun. So kids are down here all the time having a heap of fun, safe environment. Lovely, pristine river, and we've got it all. Predominantly Rich. three rivers here as well, though. Um, uh, you, you most spend most of your time here on the we Endeavour. Do. We now, do. We've half got an hour the out on the shelf. Just down the road, and then about an hour down the road, we've got the Bloomfield River, which is a pristine yeah. rainforest river down there. Spectacular scenery everywhere. Um, always, we do have crocs in the systems in the far north, so you always need to be mindful of that. <laughs> um, both boats, we've got Tom from Cooktown Barra Charters just behind us, and we've got fishing vessel scorpion in the background that um, we'll do a, a little bit more extended out the yeah. shelf so 30 mile out to the out shelf so normally we're starting to ramp up to the black marlin season but oh. COVID-19 tell you what though busted. with the crocs in the system thank you guys with the crocs in the system it does give you that little bit of extra incentive to reel them in real fast to get your catch in for the day yeah, guys it's, it's a bit of fun Russ thank you very much for having is. me aboard uh, guys we'll see you with much more from Cooktown in half an Best hour fishing in Australia. don't go for a swim my cousin Caney caught a beautiful Spanish oh, off the wharf there a few years ago really yeah. still telling the story and 